Portrait Artist of the Year, Season 7, Episode 10. We just came through the semifinals, and these are our three finalists for the year. This is Season 7. This would have been year 2020 that it was televised. And so now let's go ahead and get started. And if you'd hit that subscribe button and leave me a thumbs up, that would make me a very happy Joe McKenzie indeed. So anyway, here we go. This is our first finalist. I really loved her self-portrait that she did to, be, to uh, enter into this program. It just, it just really spoke to me, so I'm so thrilled to see her here. And here's the painting that she did that won her particular episode, which I thought was very, very strong indeed. And she did have another person on that episode in her particular grouping that I think was a very strong contender. I would have liked to see her here as well. But here was her reaction when she won that particular episode. She was just absolutely thrilled. And she is an amateur. Not that I'm keeping track of that anymore. I, I don't know that that matters, but especially in this competition. But it's gonna be fun to see what she does today. I'm, I'm really rooting for her. I'm rooting for all of them, but I have to admit, I might be rooting for her more than some others. Here's a self-portrait. Again, that got him onto the program. Now this painter paints on wood panel and he uses the tone of the wood panel in his painting. So he doesn't cover the complete wood panel. He uses it as one of his mid-tones, I would say. And um, here's the painting that he did that won his particular episode. And I, I just think it's a fantastic job. So I'm happy to see him here. Now he, coming up is the third finalist. And he just seems like maybe one of the most lovely people in the world. And I've heard from one of the participants that I've interviewed for the program who says, yes, indeed he is. But um, I am going to say I am, I am not a fan of his work. But I'm going to plow ahead because art is subjective and everybody has different opinions. So let's look at what he did in order to get to this place. There's his self-portrait on the left which I think is considerably stronger than what he did when he won his particular episode. You just can see more forms and definition on the one on the left than you can on, on the one on the right. So I have to admit, I was very surprised when he won the particular episode and he does work in some kind of marker, uh, usually blue and red. And he's, he's using those marks to make masses. Our celebrity model for the day is Eddie Izzard, and she is a tremendous comedian, actor, and writer, and also an advocate. She did 29 marathons in 29 days during the COVID lockdown, and I watched that on her channel. And I mean, she actually did that, which is like so completely crazy, but, um, but she did it to raise money for for the cause, you know, for for the situation, the, the global plant pandemic that we were all in. So now let's look at four hours in. The artists are going to turn their easels around. We get our first pick of the uh, look at their final pieces here, and like I said, they're going to turn them around in one second. And this is like super exciting. It's the first time that Eddie is going to see the paintings. And of course, he picks one to take home, which has nothing to do with the final judging, but is an absolute honor, of course. So here's the first one up. And I, you know, we know this is the person that works on wood panel because we see a lot of wood panel here. There's definitely a likeness. It looks like a very good completed painting to me. And what I've noticed about his work is he doesn't complete a painting in the sense of covering the entire surface. But he definitely got the job done. And, uh, you know, um, he's, he's such a good drafts person as well. So there he is next to his painting. And it's, it's a pretty large size to cover in four hours. There you can see the wood panel showing through a little bit. So I thought he would be the winner because he's painting on a wood panel and they're looking for something different. But um, hashtag Joe is always wrong. Once again, I got it wrong. Uh, here's the one that I was really rooting for. This is the, the woman in our semifinals. I mean, our finals, yeah. And I just think this is a s simplistic forms, a beautifully done, carefully edited. Everything about this hits the mark for me. And when we come in closer, that's just a beautiful, beautiful job to me. I of, of ob careful observation of the different forms. And she executed love, 
yeah, look at that from far away. I mean, that would hold up in a gallery so well. Oh, I want her to win. Gosh, been a fan since I first saw her self-portrait, but, uh, but we will see what happens. Now, the third one up is uh, Curtis. And Curtis, it had, this is what he did. You know, basically got the eyes done and left the rest of the face and the forms to be. So you can tell by the tone of my voice, can't you? I mean, I'm trying to hide it, but you can tell by the tone of my voice. I am incredibly underwhelmed. So if you're watching this and are offended, I'm sorry. And if Curtis is watching this, I so apologize because it's not like I could do better. It's just, I, I just, it just doesn't have the kind of impact that I'm looking for uh, as a finalist. Uh, so Eddie is going to pick one to go home, and this will show you that I know absolutely nothing about nothing, because <laughs> the one he picks to go home is the one that I find a little bit uh, not my taste. So, uh, so be it. What's, what's, what's clear about this is that I do not have the pulse on the current art market or on... Uh, opening my brain to different interpretations, I guess. I'm looking for very, very much more standard kinds of painting. Anyway, the final judging begins. And before we go to the final judging, we have to look at the commissions. Now, in the past, they've each had a celebrity commission to do. But this year, probably because of COVID, they had a friend instead. And so this is the English teacher of one of the participants. Uh, this is the son of one of the participants. And the last one is going to be the partner of one of the participants. So we get to see what these people look like, but but we don't know their faces as as we do some of the icons that we've seen that are actors and, and famous for their endeavors. But here are the final pieces. We can see uh, the piece of Eddie and the one of his son, uh, not Eddie's son, but uh, the participant's son. And, you know, it's beautifully done, very beautifully done. Once again, on wood panel, uh, I, I, just, I think this one of the son is, is a much stronger painting, but it really doesn't matter what I think at this point. So let's look at the next one. And this is what they're being judged on for the finals. Wow. I mean, wow. This woman can really paint and paint and paint. Gosh, she is so darn good. I would love to interview her because um, I, I have to do a deep dive and see if I can find if she's currently, you know, painting in terms of wanting to sell and, and or if this is a sideline for her. I know she's not a professional when she entered this competition, but maybe she is now. And here's the final one. And this is Curtis. And Curtis did his partner and, and his part and their dog. And I think that's a more realized piece than um, than the one he did of Eddie Izzard, but once again, I don't know anything. So uh, I keep saying so. I, when I watch these recaps, I have to stop doing it. The winner is dun 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 dun. dun. I think you already know from my narration. Yep, the winner is Curtis. This is the winner. This is the winner, and I am perplexed. So I talked to one of my friends who's involved in the program and she said that she has seen his work in real life and it did not come across on television the way it does in real life. So I'm going to go with that. And now we'll look at the winner's final commission. The final commission was to paint the ballet dancer whose name is Carlos Acosta. And so we get to see the unveiling of the final commission. Now this would be episode 11 all on its own, but I didn't want to make one all on its own because, because um, I have strong feelings about this and I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to be negative, although I've been a little bit, I know I've been, I want to be negative, but I also want to be honest. So that's, that's a tough needle to thread. So there Carlos is looking at his self-portrait as it's unveiled and Curtis behind him. And now we will look at the final portrait. And this is the end of season seven. And we either go on to season eight or I might go on to landscape artist of the year. I'm not sure. There's a final piece. I do think it's the um, most realized and, and best work that Curtis did so far. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mask for volume, mix for color. Please join my YouTube channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.